Aloha. Welcome and thank you for coming to my live stream today. My name is Master Paul Fletcher and I am deeply honored to connect with you today on live stream. Today is November 21, 2016. And uh, the live stream I just tried to start was not working. I, I know exactly why I resolved that. So hopefully it'll make a difference now. So I want to welcome you for coming. Today's subject is on healing in the stressful conditions that we live in today using soul power. I see some new names popping in there, so that makes me very happy. Hopefully I'll be able to serve you with this wisdom today as well. Stress is a major factor in almost all health issues in life. Uh, John Hopkins University has reported that up to 90% of all health issues has a base in stress associations. And today I'm going to share with you how we can apply soul power and the other powers uh, that has been taught to us by Dr. and Master Shah to bring a transformation to our life. I did a flow earlier on the, um, the structure of this series that I'll be teaching this whole week. And I, I was very pleased with the information that Heaven guided me with. And I know that you will be too. So today we're going to talk about the stressors around money and how that impacts our life both from the outside and from the inside. Next, uh, tomorrow, we're going to be talking about work relationships and all those bring stress into our life, the job itself, security associations. Uh, on Wednesday, I'm going to be referring to specific relationships in our life, typically family-based relationships or love-based relationships, and how those can or cannot bring stress to our life. Each of these days, we're going to be applying very specific techniques and wisdoms to help you change your perspective. Um, because a lot of it, based on the flow I just did, which I'm going to do another one in a little while, the information that I received was a lot of it has to do with our perceptions. And so we're going to be applying soul wisdom to shift some of our perceptions. And then for those that uh, are familiar with the divine services that can be offered through a divine channel like myself, you'll have an opportunity to clear the blockages much more rapidly than you can do on your own if that's something of interest to you. So for all those that are watching this for the first time, uh, both live and um, in a recording fashion, this will be about a one hour webcast and I repeat it every day, Monday through Friday, um, two o'clock Hawaii time. Uh, so I recommend that you enjoy the entire webcast as it will be a significant uh, value to your life. So I wanna stop and acknowledge everyone that's tuning in. Welcome Hoshala. Welcome, Brianna. Welcome, Nicole. Uh, thank you, Kristen, for your uh, comments, letting me know how to restart. Welcome, Sherry. Uh, good to see you, Petra, coming in from Europe. Um, welcome, Tawana. And welcome, uh, Angie. Good to see you, Carol. And I'm sure others have tuned in, jumped on, but um, we're still waiting for them to uh, type in their names. And as soon as I do that, I'll be able to acknowledge you as well. I need a little water. Excuse me a minute. Okay, I missed you guys. Um, it's actually, it's, it's, uh, it's a significant part of my day and my week to be here for you. Uh, at the retreat, at the Tao retreat, <clears throat> I received a lot of um, confirmation and validation of the services that are being offered through these live streams. And it's not that I didn't understand that, but it, it does help to hear people's perspectives and the ways in which it has brought value to their life. And so uh, it truly um, warms my heart to be able to be present to, to, to do this. And one of the things that I'm creating right now is a uh, live stream teaching so I can share it with other divine channels so that we can serve more people. And as I was doing that, uh, I was writing down the, the things that we do that are successful that will serve and things that will not work well with Facebook live stream. And as I was writing them down, I said, one of the most important things is your viewing audience. I said, you must connect with them because you would not have any success if it wasn't for them. They're the ones that share. They're the ones that are your, um, the reason you have any level of success. And as I was writing that down, I, I felt, an, again, a great warmth for all of you with great gratitude. I truly appreciate um, your love and your support because 
it is my service to you, but it is your service in the sharing. It is your service in the telling the others about it that really is making a difference and allowing the wisdom of Dr. and Master Shah and his teachings on the four powers, his teachings on how to release the, um, the stressful conditions in our life and to bring love and peace and harmony to our life, that it won't make it out there without someone like yourself. So thank you again. We have a few more people to join, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. So welcome Chanel, welcome um, Elizabeth, welcome Donna, and Eleanor, good to see you. Welcome Yvonne, Rob Brett, thank you for coming. If you would all please hit the share button right now and just say, you know, Master Paul is live, hope you can make it. Uh, that would be wonderful. And um, I'm going to go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, inviting in all the holy beings. So where you're at, if you're in a position where you can, please sit up straight, placing your hands in the soul light, soul service hand position, which is much like a prayer, but we dropped our left hand in front of our heart center and the right hand remained in, pointed towards heaven. <clears throat> so let us connect. Dear beloved divine, beloved Tao and source, all layers of all committees to original creator, we love you, honor you, respect you, bow to you. We ask for your presence here today to assist in this live stream, to bless my communication that I'm able to reach the most people with the greatest value for their soul journey. To the soul of all of our individual Heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints, all masters, ascendant masters, all lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, angels, healing angels, archangels, to the soul of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary. We truly love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you, and are so humbled, honored, and deeply grateful for your incredible and consistent, unconditional service to humanity and to our soul journeys. We ask you to please be present at this time and assist me in whatever way is most valuable to assist everyone else on the call. We ask that you subdivide your souls, go to everybody, and offer whatever blessings are most needed at this time to help transform whatever stress is current in their life. Please bless me to receive any guided information that I can share it today in a way that all these beautiful souls are assisted. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome CJ, welcome Dove, welcome Daniel, welcome Mel. Uh, great to see you all and everyone else I have not acknowledged. Please forgive me. I'm not seeing your name pop up, but I'm grateful you're here. So let us chant love, peace, and harmony to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. We invite the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to turn on. We invite all souls in all universes to join us today to chant love, peace, and harmony. We ask special blessings to all the souls of Japan and the Fukushima area where there was recently an earthquake uh, for the uh, as appropriate for the calming of the land and the calming of the water we ask the souls of the Shen Shi and Jing of the land and the water in the entire area to please join in this chanting with us of love peace and harmony let us join together <coughs> Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la For those that are new and unfamiliar, please just close your eyes, receive the blessing. Everyone else, join in chanting. Wo I wash in her ling Wo I turn ran lay Wang li hing rung her mu shi shang Shuang I ping on her she Shuang I ping on her she I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together Love, peace and harmony Love, peace and harmony 
噜啦噜啦哩，噜啦噜啦啦哩，噜啦噜啦哩噜啦，噜啦哩噜啦，噜啦哩噜啦。我爱我心儿灵，我爱春人泪，望玲容，何不是生，相爱平安儿些，相爱平安儿些。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. 好，好，好 ，Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony for your incredible blessings. We invite all souls who have received this transmission of love, peace, and harmony, which is all souls in all universes, to continue to chant, to bless humanity, that we can transform our blockages and return to love, peace, and harmony. We ask for specific blessings for the Fukushima area that the lands and the water subside from this most recent uh, movement of the earth. As appropriate in all cases, we're very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> okay. Okay. So welcome Sarah, welcome Mel Gittens, and welcome Tracy, welcome back. Thank you for your tenacity in returning to this live stream today. So I want to start by offering a divine flow specific to the stresses associated with finances. Uh, today I'll be focusing on finances, tomorrow I'll be focusing on work and all the security issues around work. Uh, uh, work relationships, etc., and how that impacts the stress in our life. Wednesday, I'll be focusing on <coughs> um, personal relationships, and then Thursday is a day off. Friday, I'll come back, and we're going to focus on divine relationship and how a lack thereof impacts our stress. So each day is a part in this series around stress. So we're going to have a lot of opportunities to resolve some of our blockages. So now I'm going to offer a flow. Um, and we'll find out what soul wants to offer the information regarding this subject matter. Okay? And welcome, Brianne. Welcome, Joanne. To the soul of this subject matter around stress, all the stresses in our life, especially in this case today, around the stresses of finances, perspectives on finances, the divine perspective on finances and money. And the highest and best guidance that can be offered to all those that are watching at this time, all those in the future. We love you, honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. I ask that you please borrow my mouth at this time. Allow me to serve all those and offer us guidance in whatever way is most needed at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> <coughs> How? This is the soul of the divine perspective on finances and money. Many of you cannot even comprehend that there would be such a thing as the soul of the perspective of your creator's finances and money. Little or few of you know that there is money in heaven. There is. It is called a virtue. Those in heaven are not always full of virtue in their bank account. 
there are many that actually are poor in heaven. They are learning lessons as they are on earth. The divine's perspective, my soul, if you will, is quite different than that of those of humanity. And I wish to offer you it so that you can consider altering yours. First, I ask you to ask yourself, is your perspective and beliefs, is your automatic responses around money and finances serving you? Have they served you in the past and are they serving you now? If they are, then simply consider these perspectives as additional to move you to an even higher level. If they are not, my encouragement would be to receive this wisdom in your heart and apply it as much as possible. God created all things equal. You and all souls are not blessed or unblessed more or less to receive more or less money because of God's choices. When you are all created as equal soul beings, you were all created with perfection. That includes a perfectly full virtue bank from which you could create all that you wish. In the dissemination of time, there has been a transmutation of perspective, of understanding, of the nature of the divine's fair giving. Choices were made by you and those that would be called ancestors in your energetic lineage, should we say, that may be inhibiting you from a free flow of a virtue. It has been said, and it is true, that virtue in heaven translates to financial blessings on earth. <coughs> and it can equally be true that a lack thereof creates a lack thereof on earth. This, for some, is not new information, and for some, is. But, I divest, let me return to the Divine's perspective on money and abundance. From the Divine's perspective, it would be simply a matter of allowing. It would be a recognition that everything Every thing has a purpose, a intention, and an action behind it that has been driven by predecessors. It is about an acknowledgement and perspective that instead of reacting, the divine simply, ah, allows. Instead of judging, the divine looks for the source. There is a mantra by bodhisattvas that they do not fear what is in front of them now. They fear what actions they are taking because it will impact their future. The wisdom to be shared is in direct relation to divine perspective. Why do they fear their reaction? Because it is in our response, it is in our perspective 
to what comes to us that we can control and alleviate what is perceived to be stress. Those that are aware might recognize what others deem as an unpleasant series of events, circumstances, etc. But from the divine perspective, it would be stated with an observation. Ah, this what is deemed to be unpleasant has a creative source. I see it and now have the opportunity to resolve it by not giving it more attention in the negative, by working with forgiveness as appropriate to the conditions prior to its arrival that have brought forth its creation. This is how a divine perspective looks at everything, not just financial conditions. The divine would see that there is opportunity and he would recognize if it was an insufficient condition that what is needed is virtue, that what is needed is love, forgiveness, that what is needed is gratitude, and awareness, enlightenment if you will. The divine perspective is not thrown about like a tree in the wind. The divine perspective is like a strong shaft of bamboo that moves eloquently in awareness and allows that which can damage others to pass by unexposed to the damage that might be intended by the karmic implications. This is why the bamboo gets fatter and stronger with time. This is why it is written in parables, and this is how you apply it to your life. This should be sufficient information to assist you in moving forward on perspective shifting. I will transmit a practice to this one allowing me to borrow his mouth and then you can work together to transform this blockage hopefully on a more permanent basis. This is the soul of the divine's perspective on finances and money. It has been my greatest honor to offer you this heavenly wisdom. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you, uh, divine, for allowing your perspective to be spoken through me. I'm very, very grateful. That was pretty good stuff, huh? I like that. So welcome, um, Scott. Welcome, Daniel. Welcome, Linda. Welcome, Mary Vasek. Welcome, Ilona. Welcome, Jota. And welcome, Bradley. So now we get to move forward with this perspective and start applying it to our life. Now, Dr. Master Shah uses the four powers in a repeating cycle. With over 20 books, every one of the books repeats the cycle. If you ever go to any of his live events or listen to him on the telephone, he repeats himself again and again and again. And some people say, why does Master Shah repeat himself so many times? And one of the other divine channels that's been with him a long time looked at the person and he said, which time was it that you finally heard what he said? That's why. Because we never know when that wisdom will go that much deeper. We never know when we actually get it. And the powers that should always be applied are the four powers and love and forgiveness. And so we will repeat them, but we will apply it directly to this wisdom that we have learned here today. So welcome, uh, Tammy J. <coughs> the four powers, briefly, mind power, 
create a visualization. Sound power, which is mantra. Soul power, which is the most important power. And body power, which is where we place our hands and how we hold our hands in a mudra positions. Okay? So let me uh, tune into the um, blessing that the divine wants me to offer. He just said he gave me a download, but I, <laughs> I'm too busy talking to actually hear what they gave me. So let me check in. Give me a minute. Okay. So this is going to be wonderful. So uh, we're going to use the Divine's Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball. And uh, we will, I will walk you through a process to bring it into our heart center, which, which uh, holds a great deal of our perspective blockages. I'm going to do some processes to clean it out. Okay? So let's do this practice together. Where you're at, please sit up straight. Place your feet flat on the ground. We're going to place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. So again, placing our hands in prayer position, dropping the left hand in front of the heart center, right hand gently pointed upwards. Um, for the mantra, we're going to chant Divine Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow, Light Ball. For the soul power, we'll invite in all the holy beings. Uh, and for um, the creative visualization, see the Divine Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow, Light Ball in your message center. Okay? Keep your eyes closed. Prepare. Repeat after me. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear the soul, of the divine's perspective on finances and money. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please come to sit in my message center? I am so very, very honored and grateful. Dear the soul of all of the holy beings that have been called at the beginning of this live stream. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please come to sit in my message center? Bless me to align my perspective to the Divine's perspective on financial abundance and all abundance. Bless me to release negative thoughts, mindsets, and responses reactions when I observe something that others would call negative around finances and around abundance. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now these first two are called soul power. We invited the soul of divine Tao and source. We invited the soul of all the holy beings. We even invited the soul of the divine's perspective of finances. This is soul power. The fourth soul power that we'll use in today's practice is the love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light ball. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of the divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light ball, I love you. Can you please come from heaven? Come to sit in my heart center. Please bless me for all these requests that have already been made. I am deeply honored and grateful. So walk with your eyes closed. Visualize a rainbow light ball turning in your heart center. doesn't matter which direction it's turning. And visualize that the entire time as I walk you through this creative visualization and healing practice. Know that the divine and all the holy beings are in your heart center offering you great value at this time. Now, with your eyes closed, we'll continue with the forgiveness practice. Continue to repeat. Dear all souls, in this and all lifetimes, if I or my ancestors have offered to you wrong perspective, negative thoughts, negative words or actions around the ideas of money, finances, or abundance, if we have caused unpleasant financial conditions in your life because of greed, selfishness, corruption, and other 
very unpleasant financial activity. If we have offered you unpleasant emotional or mental traumas around abundance, finances, and money, I truly, deeply, and sincerely, sincerely apologize. I recognize that this is highly possible because I am not flourishing financially in the ways that I would enjoy. And my perspective on finances and flourishing is not in alignment with the Divine's perspective. I am greatly appreciative for your forgiveness, if you can find a way to forgive me. I truly, deeply apologize for whatever suffering I have brought upon you. And I ask that as we do this practice, as I chant today, that any virtue that is being offered, that you consider receiving it to offset the financial debt, the spiritual debt that I may have incurred with you. I ask the soul of all of my ancestors to join in this practice and to do forgiveness practice and the rest of these practices with me. So now let us visualize the Divine Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Bulb <coughs> radiantly grow, glowing in our heart centers, clearing blockages. Let us begin. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, bowl, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, bowl, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, bowl, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, bowl. <clears throat> divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, bowl, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, bowl, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, bowl, divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, bowl. Continue to visualize the Divine's Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball spinning as I walk you through a creative visualization. Visualizing the Rainbow Light Ball shining to all of the souls that have been harmed financially and by selfish choices. Think about the times when you said no. Ask for forgiveness. Think about the times when you may have been in a position where you could have shared and you did not. Ask for forgiveness. Visualizing the rainbow light ball shining its light on those souls. There is a large circle of souls all around you. Hundreds, thousands of human souls that have come because they have been called by you and your ancestors. And they are pondering should they offer you their forgiveness. Deeply, deeply offer your bowing down from your heart that you might have made choices that took their businesses, that took their land, that caused a blockage in their consistent payday, that you may have lied or deceived some of these souls. It could be that our ancestors made wrong trade or barter in other lifetimes. It could be that we have caused great suffering. So let us continue to bow down in our hearts 
Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball divine. Love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball divine. Love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball divine. Love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light, ball. And as you see, the divines love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball spinning. Think about how grateful have you been? When you wake up, are your first thoughts of gratitude? Are you grateful for a soft bed? Are you grateful for warm covers in the cold of the day? Are you grateful that when you open the refrigerator door that you have food in the refrigerator? Are you grateful that when you turn on the tap, you have cold running water that is free of virus and bacteria? Are you grateful that when you put on your pants and, and grab your purse or wallet, that you have some money in it? Are you grateful that you have the possibility of having a job? Or that the job that you have is allowing you to serve your loved ones and your family members. Are you grateful for what others take as obvious? It is a lack of gratitude that inhibits us from receiving more. Do this forgiveness practice with me and keep visualizing the rainbow light ball clearing these blockages of gratitude dear divine dear my beloved creator my name is state your name paul fletcher paul fletcher paul fletcher i deeply and sincerely apologize for my lack of gratitude for my lack of appreciation for being present in this life of my lack of gratitude for having money in my wallet, a bed to sleep on, a roof over my head. I deeply apologize for complaining when I could have been grateful for what I do have. I deeply apologize for gossip about those that I think are keeping abundance from me or are controlling my financial blessings. I deeply apologize for my lack of awareness that I might have created this lack condition. I apologize for shaking my fists at you, my beloved creator, for blaming you when I was in such a painful condition. I know that it is not okay. I know that I must start taking responsibility for the blockages in my life. And I ask sincerely for your forgiveness, my beloved Creator, that I can have more gratitude, more awareness, less complaining, and a greater opportunity to move forward with these newfound perspectives. Let us continue to chant, visualizing the rainbow light while clearing these blockages to gratitude, clearing those incorrect perspectives. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. 
Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, fall. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. 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 Just two more minutes. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. And as you're chanting and as you're visualizing, I will do a flow describing what is happening at this time. How this is Yan Wan Ye, leader of the Akashic Records. I have come because each and every activity that is done by each and every human soul is recorded in the records of heaven, including your practice, your uh, realigning here today. There has been great virtue distributed today. The divine has been very generous, especially to those that have been deeply and authentically in a place of forgiveness and recognition of their wrong perspectives and choices the divine and the divine's love peace harmony rainbow light ball has been showering each of you with tremendous virtue that virtue has been used to dissolve each and every one of yours karmic based imbalances that have been residing in your heart center these have caused you to negatively respond when something unexpected occurs this is karma they have caused you to wake up and just move throughout the day as if it was just another treacherous day these kinds of karmic thoughts have been directly addressed with this virtue they have been released to the degree possible and there have been a great deal of messages implanted to replace the negative beliefs and perspectives there has been a trillion or more angels that carry these messages and they have been dispersed to each of you and to all of those that will be watching this video in the future to all of those that you care about, that you share this video too, will also receive these virtuous messages of hope, of faith, of love, of forgiveness, of gratitude, of service, of enlightenment, of humility, of harmony, and of the divine's most precious light. These virtuous messages have been implanted as seeds and are being showered with the light of the Divine's Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball, growing gently, but much like any seed that has been planted, it is in a very infant and precious state. It is important to water these messages daily uh, by maintaining positive perspective by uh, maintaining gratitude by asking the divine and all of the holy beings and the love peace harmony rainbow light ball to come to you daily and by actively working with forgiveness and gratitude you are feeding and nourishing these new thoughts and perspectives and your soul and its journey could be substantially shifted truly amazing the divine's love for you all i am honored to offer you this message today this is yen wan ye
We ask all of heaven to please remain through the remainder of this uh, live stream. We ask the Divine Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball to continue to offer blessings as appropriate to the remainder of this live stream. And at the end, we ask them all to please respectfully return. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so for those that have just tuned in in the last five or ten minutes, I highly recommend you do that um, practice with us because the amount of virtue that was sh showered upon us was extraordinary. Um, extra, 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 extraordinary. Truly a huge blessing. So please share. Uh, did you see anything with your third eye? Did you get warm? I got really warm. Um, was your head vibrating? Were your hands hot or vibrating? Um, did you have any aha moments? Well, did you have tears? What kind of experiences did you have that was in relation to this? I see a lot of heart opening from Felix. Um, what was your perspective? Who will you share this with? Because it's about changing other people's lives. This is how we self-clear our karma. We share with other people. You think you're alone with your financial perspectives and blockages, with your abundance perspectives and blockages? Highly unlikely. The ability to share is a key in letting other people experience the values that you may have just experienced. So please share. Welcome, Carol. Uh, welcome, Dvorka. Welcome, Ali. Welcome, Michelle. Hopefully, you're all still with us. Welcome, Lori. And uh, we have about 30 people that are watching today. You know, I mentioned um, earlier that <clears throat> I'm creating a, a training for the Facebook live stream for the other divine channels. And um, I'm going to speak with you while I'm waiting for your responses. And... Um, um, and one of the things that I wrote was that about 10% of the viewing audience is live, but they make up 90% of the success. About 90% of the viewing audience sees things after the fact, um, but they don't usually stay the whole time to grasp the value of each one of these days. So when you share, please make a comment that... Um, um, Please enjoy the entire one hour, and if it doesn't bring value to your life, then don't bother sharing it with somebody else. Something like that. Because people, they have their mindsets and their blockages, and their karma could get in the way of receiving the value that comes to the entirety. You may notice that I don't actually get into any teachings until about 10 minutes in. That's because I'm waiting for everybody to arrive. I don't want anybody to miss anything. But that person that just happens upon this or that you share with, in that first 10 minutes, they might not realize that the majority of the value is in the last 50 minutes. So you might want to share these things as you share this with them. So um, Eleanor says uh, she felt warmth and happiness at the beginning of the practice. Wonderful. Hopefully it continued <laughs> as you went through the rest of the practice. Uh, Felix says, I just arrived five minutes ago. I started chanting, and then I felt... Uh, directly drive by the greatest energy of the group. Uh, wonderful, great, great sharing, Felix. So yeah, if you got to uh, be part of the, uh, I would go back, Felix, and watch the whole um, uh, part because there was a flow from the divine's perspective on abundance and uh, finances and the stressors that it causes in our life, and there was a different perspective about how to release some of those blockages, and the divine way of releasing them is very important. Um, I ask uh, if I was to offer any divine services, what would it be? And um, the suggestion was a crown chakra blessing for aligning your perspective to the divine's perspective on abundance. Now, I actually received this blessing myself about uh, three months ago. And I can tell you it was nothing short of astounding. It's probably the, the biggest uh, blessing that I can remember having the biggest effect on me, save one, uh, like a lung blessing I received from Master Shah, it had a huge impact on my health. Um, but there was very few blessings that I can recognize an immediate and tangible difference on my life. And, and, and one of them was this one I received. Um, the honor fee for it is actually a, a double of what it normally is. The normal honor fee on a, a crown chakra blessing is only 100. 
very, very reasonable, very affordable. The reason it's, it's double is because the amount of virtue that has to be released, uh, because I have to turn around and give heaven back you know, the money. Um, the amount of virtue that is released to shift your perspective to the divine's perspective is nothing short of, of huge. Uh, I actually, actually had to honor 300 for it when I, when I got my crown shock of blessing. Um, but um, uh, I got one step higher level than what I would be offering to you. And so when I checked divine, I asked if I could offer 400. They said, no way. Don't even bother opening your mouth if, if you don't honor uh, for the amount that we're suggesting. So I don't want to get in trouble with heaven if that's something you're interested to. I'll tell you how it changed my perspective. So when I got the blessing... <clears throat> um, what I started to notice was that I just, I just was no longer stressed about things. I mean, this was when I changed the place I was living. Uh, I was moving from a place that had quite reasonable rent to a place that was literally $800 more a month. I was moving into um, earning a living as a divine channel by itself, not having any of the supportive income. And so there was many what would be called stressors. There's no way of knowing how that would work out with the new job. There's no way of knowing how I would generate 800 additional dollars a month when I was leaving what would be considered secure. So there was certainly reasons for the average Joe to be stressed. But I'd received this blessing about a month prior to all this, and I observed myself just going, ah, eh, it'll work out. It always does. And, and people at the center, they're like, I don't know what it is about you, but you're just a lot less stressed. Now, I never perceived myself to be stressed, but apparently they did. And so I wore my stress on my face when it came to things related to uh, abundance and finances. So I can tell you that this crown chakra blessing is truly a hugely powerful blessing. And it will allow you to uh, integrate a lot of what we did here today. It will, it will offer literally messages. It will uproot lots and lots of Shen Qi Jing blockages that carry those negative messages, negative responses. Um, so if it is of interest to you, uh, beloved Kristen, just put a link to my, uh, to my website on there. Um, but you'll actually have to request a quantity of two if you want that blessing. Okay, uh, the next few days I'll offer different blessings for relationships and for work relationships, things like that, um, uh, that may be of greater value to you for whatever your stresses are in your life. But if this is an area in which you feel there's a value, then be aware of that. So I see a response here from Sarah, says lots of tears, um, felt the Divine's presence in her heart. It was an acknowledgement from the Divine that I am blessed. Truly good, good observation. Ilona says, thank you so much. We'll share with my beloved family members. And Yota, Jota says, my experience was that I went into a deep state, my heart deeply opened to receive the message and that I felt it was a powerful experience that the consciousness self would stay awake. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for sharing. So we're getting near the end of the hour. And... Uh, uh, I just returned, so for all those that didn't catch it in the first part, uh, this is a series. So this whole week I will be offering a teaching on how to transform the stresses outside of us. Uh, tomorrow I'll be focusing on work, the securities around work, and work-based relationship. And we're going to be applying practices, wisdom, and blessings, forgiveness around clearing those blockages. Uh, there will also be crown chakra blessings available for that if you have some significant blockages in those areas. So if you know of anybody that is having trouble around work and workplace blockages, including those where it's difficult to get a job, things like that, or to maintain a job, or no matter what job you go to, you just can't be happy, um, or no matter what job you go to, there's always that one coworker that drives you nuts or that one boss that doesn't respect you. These are karmic blockages. So if you or someone you know uh, that that's, sounds like you, then make sure uh, you either watch the recording tomorrow or show up tomorrow. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And by the way, Thursday there will be no live stream because it's Thanksgiving. Love you, love you, love you. Remember to share. If you're new, look for the subscribe button uh, somewhere near the top of this video and you'll know when I go live. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.